We're going to do a quick review of the AutoFix OM126 scanner. Here we have this plugged in and in this case the engine actually is running. This scanner is a universal scanner so it will work on all uh, cars 1996 and newer that are equipped with OBD2. Let's look really quick at uh, the OBD2 function. We use the menu here to go select OBD2. Allow it to scan and right here we have a quick summary of the status. The MIL status, the check engine light is off. There's no codes and the systems are all um, ready and complete and uh, not supported or uh, we have three ignition spark and protocol can uh, let's hit enter here enter again and here we can read the codes erase them we can check them in give up system test and vehicle information let's go back to read codes right here you can read codes and then you can see current codes pending codes and permanent codes so there's no current codes if there were the check engine light will be on the same thing happens with if there are any permanent codes but if there's any pending codes the check engine light might not be on yet here you can go to erase codes press enter are you sure you want to erase press enter again next we have the emission readiness so if you are taking your car for an emission test this is where you would come and check and you want to select since DTCs were cleared press enter and you want all of these to be okay so here you can see okay 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 don't worry about if there's NA that means the vehicle doesn't have that system but if you have any that say not ready uh, that means you, you, you won't be able to pass your emission test and this happens when the codes were just cleared or it happens when the battery is disconnected um, another way to look at this data really quick press IM right here and you basically will be looking at the same da uh, data let's go back let's look at data stream here you can look at um, several sensors and live values since the vehicle is running you can see a few examples here and there is a fuel system and calculated load engine coolant temperature fuel trims different banks there vehicle speed is zero since we're stopped uh, timing advance three degrees intake air temperature and there's so many uh, live sensor data here so I'm not gonna go through all of them there's oxygen too um, output voltage and things like that anyway let's go back press exit a couple of times you can see, uh, look at freeze frame data then uh, O2 sensor test it's not supported on this vehicle same thing about EVAP test and let's go back Let's look at uh, emission readiness. If you press this button right here, you're gonna see all these um, as green. That means that you go to take the emission test. If there's any that are not ready, again, you won't be able to pass your emission test. Uh, don't worry about the gray ones. The uh, vehicle doesn't have those systems. Uh, set up here, you can set up the language, you need to measure beeping, and you can also record as you do this and store it later so you can review it. Um, one, uh, nice feature of this scanner is this lookup feature right here so if you want to see a code go there press P and it also does U, B um, and C codes but let's go look at one for example uh, let's go P, let's do P300 you press and hold um, the enter button and then you press the arrows to move left and right then you press the arrow up we change the number and we'll press enter and there it is uh, p300 random uh, cylinder misfire press exit and that's uh that's it